What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar of Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Blue Zell BLZ today. This one comes to us not at the request of Danny Boy, but Danny Boy, we're doing this one for you um, because you you mentioned it in the in the comments on Discord, and uh, I just I figured you know why not do an analysis on it? It's been a little while. Um, Looking at this thing on a weekly, what we do have is a nice kind of bottoming formation here, right? You you had this base that you were setting up, and you just triple bottomed out of it. You technically had a double bottom, but to some degree, it was like a triple bottom, right? One bottom here, two bottom there. Here's your third bottom. Um, maybe it is just a true double bottom. I don't know. That That is quite a difference in price, I think, right? From this low to there, that's 12%. Here, that's, what is that? 13%. So yeah, I guess if, if it was a triple bottom, really it'd be a quadruple bottom. So that wouldn't make sense. So we'll call it a double bottom. I do think that you are on your way up to new highs, new highs that this chart has just never seen before. But before that, and by the way, you know, this chart has gone all the way up to uh, 80 something cents. Here we are sitting at about 14 cents right now. But before that, before that, I do think we're going to go down. And I want to use the actual, I want to use BLZ, USDT and look at the Binance chart here. Looking at this thing on a daily, you can just see we've got we've got a lot of wicks to the upside lately, right? We had a nice move up. We consolidated to a slanted upwards. You know, this this kind of stuff, whenever you consolidate slanting upwards with an upwards tilt, you don't consolidate down. That generally leads you to exhaustion. You have like like upside exhaustion and you start to roll over. And I think we're starting to do that now. I think you can see it, you know, with the wicks, with the price itself, you have a higher closing high over here and on your RSI, you have lower highs. This is bearish divergence at its finest. Um, I, I do think that it's gonna go lower. I'm not, I'm not at the moment in belief that it goes higher than these highs. I think, you know, you've got a lower high here. You actually have a lower low even. You might be in the, the beginning of the official downtrend that'll take you back to about anywhere from 10 to 7 cents. But we're going to look at look and see where that uh, that possibility lies. Let's see. From bottom to top here, you know, the 382 is right there at about 10 cents, which would make sense, right? You have another low that came in right there, like literally right there. So you could come down, kind of get like a double bottom there, or you could go lower even to your 618 to 0.69, which is all the way down at 7.25 to 6.53 cents on the Binance chart here. That is a pretty big drop. You know, that's, that's as of right now, that'd be basically like a 50% or more drop um, from here. And that, that might seem crazy, but it's, it's a low cap coin. It's got $58 million to its name on the market cap. And, you know, with that kind of a market cap, you can see big moves happen in very short amount of times. Um, right here, you know, you had a move up that was 58% in a day. That, that might seem big, but in crypto, that's really not, you know, we, we've seen bigger stuff than that before. Um, you could see, you really could see a move that could take you all the way down here um, in a day. It might happen tomorrow. It might happen in two weeks. It might happen over two weeks. Maybe it's a little bit more drawn out. But one way or another, I do think we're going lower. And where do we go from here? You know, it's, it's kind of hard to say. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we went at least to this 382. That would be my, my minimum expectation. But it wouldn't surprise me either if we went down to the 618 to the 0.69. That could take us to a point where we are just below this purple line, right? It's going to continue to climb upwards as we move down. If we were to get below it, generally you find your lows like just below the purple line when you're, when you're in an uptrend or on it itself. Maybe we do go on it. It's hard to say. Um, you are well above the 50 here. You're at, you're at what, 55? Yeah, you're well above the 50. So I do think you're in an overall uptrend, and I think that this trend will continue. But right now, you're probably just looking for a higher low. You're going to come down, form a higher low, and then from there, get going. Um, and I don't mean a higher low than anything you've seen in this range. It'll probably be lower than this low. It'll probably be lower than this low. Um, but at a minimum, I, I kind of would, I guess my minimum expectation would be at least back to around this low, right around 10 cents there, because that is that 382. So let's look at the four hour. Four hour looks kind of bullish. The four hour RSI looks kind of bullish, man. I don't know. The volume doesn't have me excited. The volume really doesn't have me excited. On, on the daily, you can see here, you've got decreasing volume as prices are going up. That's not an encouraging thing. On the four hour, the volume is not really too exciting either. I mean, in relative aspects, it might seem exciting, but it's nothing compared to what we've seen before. Um, it's not even anything compared to here. But again, you know, volume's dying off as you're moving higher. Then we started to move down. 
you're moving higher again and volume is just nothing, man. It's it's less than nothing right now. So I wouldn't get too excited about this or too worried. I do think that there is still potential for this thing to go to the downside. And that's really all I have to say. I think it's going to go lower where it goes. I mean, at a minimum, I am expecting prices to return back to around 10 cents, just a little bit above that, but probably below like 10 and a half, but above 10 cents, somewhere in there. If not, more likely lower than that, down to around 7 cents, um, 6 and a half cents even. Yeah, that'd be crazy. But but it could do that. It really could do that. So that's all I got for you. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. Um, I do think Bluezell has great things in store for it. It's, you know, it's 1,000x capable. It definitely is. Um, I'm not just saying that. I, I, I like genuinely mean that. We're at 14 cents here. 370, what would a thousand X be for this thing? If I can get it, yeah, right there. A thousand X would be all the way up, would that be 14, that'd be $140, is that right? Thousand X at 140, yeah. Yep, right around there, man, the 2886, it could happen. I know that that sounds crazy, but man, we're at we're at a $58 million market cap right now. A 1,000X would bring it to a $58 billion market cap. That's definitely achievable. It can do it. So um, maybe it doesn't do a 1,000X. Maybe it only does a couple hundred X or a few hundred X or a multi hundred X, you know, but, but it's got great things in store for it, man. I'm definitely, definitely excited about this thing and what it can do. Um, just right now, I think it might be time to uh, ease off that excitement Yes, it's kind of done not what I've been expecting, but I, I do think that it comes lower. And from there, we will be able to load up for higher prices to come in the future. Yeah, that's all I got. Take care. Bye-bye.